How is up everyone, and welcome back to another round of Fire Emblem Heroes. Today, we join together in the John 316 as we discuss the important things about this Tempest Trials. Really, it's nothing all that important. The fact that I get free speed tactics when I have summoned that stupid legendary Lin makes things a little, eh. <laughs> but still, now, speed tactics being more readily available, this is certainly a good Tempest trial. Now, the uh, in terms of the seals, my opinions on the matter is, is that I always like anything that has HP attached to it. HP is still a favorite stat, you can't get that as easily. And speed faint. Speed Faint, on the other hand, oh, that's just, oh, You get debuffs pretty readily nowadays. And right now, the current theme seems to be Sabotage. The Sabotage that you can see on Ears Tamori, for example. That kind of stuff, eh, even then. Eh, eh. And Speed Faint requires you to spend a turn to use it because you need to use your assistant skills or something like that. It has to be a rally assist as well. So, the problem with debuffs these days is that I'm, I'm always of the opinion that someday they're going to come up with something like Harsh Command that just automatically activates, that travels with you, or something map-wide that causes Harsh Command. That kind of stuff will ruin your day. And all those debuffs in the world will cause more trouble for you. Then, we also have to consider characters like Brunia or Idun. Of which, Idun, I have to still do the uh, Bound Hero battles for. But you know what? I'm enjoying my time right now playing console games, so that's just how it is. Of course, now we have Swiss Sparrow, the best seal of the entire game in the player phase. Yeah, eh, not really, but still. It's a good little thing that I did not expect to come out this soon. Then again, we didn't, we didn't expect Quick Repost to come out as a seal that soon, early, like, first year either, but hey, it happened. And Quick Repost as a seal is so disgusting, it opens up so many different options. I think Quick Repost is easily the best seal to ever exist. I mean, like that stupid Omni Breaker Hector thing. I mean, I can still run it. That's what makes Hector even to this day, still very useful to me, despite the fact that, oh yeah, I'm in Gen 1 BST, 160-something, yeah, 67, yeah, 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 I'm an armor, and I'm, and I have less BST than, like, infantry these days, even range units, <laughs> anyway, let's go and uh, listen to these, um, uh, trash talk, because I didn't even bother reading them before, let's see what these have to say, I haven't read it, so I have to see, I'm so full of red useless, like, ew, you're not tomorrow, you eat too much, but if you're so pretty, what am I supposed to do now, I'm gonna have to eat you, oop, I feel like I'm gonna burst, like that dude, like that dude who shot, like, uh, Majin Buu, and Majin Buu turned into liquid and flew into his mouth and made him blew up, that kind of thing, and it's joking, huh? You put away something more, I got fat, you so sorry, and you changed clothes a bit tight. Oh, yeah, you know, speaking of a bit tight, I was always wondering, with these clothes, they made breasts disappear. They made this breasts disappear so hard. It's like, previously they have breasts, and then it just went... All because of these ridiculously tight clothing. I, I guess that's what's happened with the with these clothes. They must be so tight that it causes breasts to disappear. Because I, I talked about this before in uh, Dragalia Loss. About how these stupid clothing uh, steals women's breasts away. But uh, now I understand. It's so, so, so tight. Anyway, let's see. I understand in the middle of a celebration. Oh no, physical activity. I'm fat and useless now. You better get a nice battle. Yeah, I'll join you. I don't know about you, but when I'm fat and useless, I do not move. <laughs> I do not move. I will never move when, when I am fat and useless. So let me check this real quick. Oh, uh, this will be a little while, uh, probably next hour before we get started. Okay, so therefore we're going to go and jump into Tempest Trials. We're going to use my New Year's Lefty along with the rest of my uh, damage reduction teams. 
close call is so disgusting. It, it, it's so disgusting, it actually made me spend money again. That's how, how stupid it is. But that's just the way things are. Because I love disgusting things. I love making people recoil in disgusting things. I just love giving people brain damage. And you know what? These builds have been giving people massive brain damage. I saw what happened in um, during the Aether Raid's defenses. During the Aether Raid's offenses. It gets people so unhappy what I'm doing. And that makes me laugh. So I have to go and um, put up videos of that soon. That's basically the plans coming forward. But I right now I'm occupied myself with um, console games. Oh, well, a game that is on a console but is now on a PC kind of thing. I'm meaning to play Monster Hunter World as Lucina. Because Lucina won that vote quite handily. Lucina just like destroys everyone on that vote. I mean, it's a comparison between Camilla, Lucina, um, Tharja, um, Azura, and finally Cordelia. Cordelia actually had like a pretty good track record at first. She was she was winning, but then after like an hour or so, she started losing, and then we have the shape that we have now. So. Clearly, Lucina is always going to be the favorite for a while. You know what? I'm gonna park my red unit among your green. Uh, uh, I'm gonna park my green unit among your red units, and I'll uh, we'll see, what uh, see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Left. Yeah, yeah. Tell them. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Oh, Marita, I'm suffering brain damage. I hit you. Oh. Oh, you nearly beat me to death. Oh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's Henry and you sitting me on bird and stuff. I'll beat you over the head. Yeah, we'll see what happens now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, that's disgusting hair. Hey, like, like Demon Maria. Now Demon Maria is going to go, and now you're going to die. On my way. Man, this character, too, is still disgusting. The cat girl is so powerful. Watch it. Most stupid character. The dumbest character. It makes me feel dumb using her. Although I'm not going to max her out, so she's probably not going to be on my uh, damage reduction team for that long. Because I already have this, and I already have that, and Bike especially. Bike with Close Call is the best character in the entire game. Hands down. Best character in the entire game. There's no no one better than him. I, I really put up these videos to prove my point, but there's really no character better than him. He is so disgusting. Understood. Yes, understood. You understand how disgusting you are. He's so disgusting. 60% reduction. See, he may be slow. He may be like, oh yeah, I've got like, oh well, in this case he's got 40 speed, but uh, yeah, I've been slow. I've got yeah, like a 34 speed. With my, oh no, no wait, 35. Oh no, wait, was it 36? Now I even forgot how many base speed he has. Yeah, he in plus 10, he's got a decent amount of speed. He's like 30 something. But but the, the real point is is that listen, my bike it just you, needs to use phantom speed, and he's as good as a 40 something speed character. And then you have like shit like Peony and more, and. Of course, Lucina and like shit like Peony and more will really fucks, fucks things up. And now Bike just takes like no damage. Because you know what? When we're boosting like defense and resistance, we're boosting two stats. Boosting two stats takes like 10 years. But if we just boost one stat and one stat only, well, now, now. It's easy. It just boosts it's just speed. Oh man, we, you know how like these people on like Reddit and all like, oh yeah, my yeah, my goddamn Arden can travel like really fast. I stack speed on Arden. Now he's really fast. He's got like forty something speed. Oh, everybody's so amused. <laughs> well, that's the story behind that. It's you just speed is not that hard to stack. It's just one stat. It's super easy. Whereas with like bike and such it's like oh yeah i'm just like oh, huh. i've already got a lot of defenses as it is i have like a resistance boon or uh what is it called now ass ass sad so my defenses are already very solid then you count the 64 percent on top of that then you count the readily stackable speed you've got a horrifying monster that's just not right in the world so, 
I don't know. I don't know what people think about bike these days. I mean, I know they, do, they always had a good opinion on bike, but um, let me just say this. I have an especially good opinion on bike. Especially. It's like, my opinion is like, especially good about bike because yes. because I like bikes. Listen, I rolled the bike. I, I, I rolled bike without training wheels. Like as soon as I rolled a bike, because I learned quickly. I, I learned because because riding them with training wheels makes you feel so silly. You can't do that. That's not right. You have to, you have to ride ride it without training wheels. It's very important. Now I'm gonna go and use the demon Maria. I'll go Ugh! and Mila is like, oh, I've got one health. No, oh, happy New Year! Now you die. <laughs> Can you imagine like um, someone rang the doorbell? And like, and, and so they just go, Happy New Year! And this cat girl just rips you in the face, and then you, you you die answering the door. Yeah, that's what that was just now. We will see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. As I said, then Obaro using the uh, special barrel and trying to hit me. Uh, yeah, wow. yeah, it's great. On the other hand, you know, I talked about other characters as well, like Obaro, for example. Obaro actually has a speed boon, if I recall correctly, but she's not the right type of character for it. Bike, on the other hand, because of all his damage reduction, is pretty decent for it. But Obaro could be pretty good. However, her Gen 1 stats are just kind of too much. Mm -mm. It's just too much. The Gen 1 stats just really holds her back. And you know, shit. You know, there's another thing about Cole's Cole. The fact that they roll back like this. That really fucks me up. I forgot about that. Now, eh, the cat girl's not gonna die. Because fuck, she's got like a million damage reduction as well. Stupid ass weapon. And the fact that she's mobile is what's wrong with this world. Watch it. I haven't even given her any skills, because I don't know if I'm actually going to ever use her. But I, I do like the lol that she carries, so I probably will end up uh, sacrificing yes. her at some point. Understood. Anyway, we're going to go and run over the Eureka with our bike. <sighs> yep. Boom. On my way. Uh, yeah, yeah. Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what the 30 damage turns into. Yeah! Oh, it turns into 18. See, look how this is that's not right, man. That, that's not right. That, that's not right. Damage reduction is not right. The only counter currently for damage reduction is uh, the stupid Altina, but honestly, I think you're going to see a lot more of these counters soon. Not right now, but in like a few months' time, maybe maybe even a month's time, we'll end up seeing a lot of those counters for those horrible things soon, and that might be a good thing, even though I like bike a whole lot, and bike is making life very easy for me. But what we really need is some infantry counters. Infantry is in a good spot right now. A fucking poison dagger does like so little damage. hit West Niles virus. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna back away because you know my close call. Yep. Whoa, Let's move. Now throw backwards. Yeah, we're gonna let these guys go in and kill themselves. Like Ichida the Ichida. With Ichida is actually a pretty decent unit for the um close call as well. Honestly I said I was gonna make a stupid video about Oh yeah who's best for using close call and I forgot to do it because I'm fat and useless and slow. Uh, we'll see what yeah, we'll see what happens. Huh? Understood. See, I want to play different games. I don't want to just play one game. It makes me very tired of it. That's what exactly what happened with Dragalia Loss, not to mention that stupid um, High Dragon Trials nonsense. That made me so tired of the game that right now... It feels, the game feels a lot better, but I really don't want to go back to playing it anymore. So, after more summoning session, reading some more stories, I probably will really seriously hang the gloves off and call it a day. But until I finish summoning, I, I really don't like to waste resources. It's, these resources are fun to watch. Let's just put it that way. They're, it's fun to watch these things. 
I like to summon too. So summoning is a lot of fun. Uh, sometimes playing the game is not as fun as summoning. Summoning is just so addicting. It's so much fun. My God, dude, it's like. How should I put it? It's just so exciting. Like my brother, my brother went and gambled right the other day, and um, he made the ultimate mistake. When my brother went to gamble, he. He uh, he spent the minimal amount because he's not really much of a gambler, and he put down like I think the minimal amount was like a quarter or something stupid like that. He put down a quarter in blackjack, a quarter in blackjack. Seriously, that's the minimal bet. I didn't even think that's possible. A fucking quarter. At any rate, so that's his uh, minimum bet. And guess what? Man gets a blackjack. And guess what <laughs> happens afterwards? He told me. He told me he got three. He got three blackjacks the same exact way. Three in a row. The guy next to him was just like, oh, my God, what the fuck? And because he, he, he's been actually, you know, betting and he's putting all his money in it. Well, he, he's not getting three blackjacks in a row. <laughs> my brother, who spends a minimum amount, he gets three blackjacks in a row, and each of those wins are like, what, $10? Because he puts in a fucking quarter! A goddamn quarter when he bets! It's terrible! He, he regrets it so much. We had, a, we, we had a lot of fun talking about that, and um, afterwards, I'm like, listen, dude, when you, when you gamble, you got, you got to gamble. You're, like, you're putting down a quarter for, like, what are you even doing? What are you even doing there? <laughs> <laughs> the flow is not with you if you win something like that. Quarter, Jesus Christ, man! I was appalled when I heard that. I <laughs> not really. I was like this. <laughs> I was just like this. I just laughed all day. It was so stupid. Oh God. And so that's how uh, New Year's was for me. Spending time with my family and listening to stupid stories like that. That's the way things should be. And now, for reasons unknown, I've decided to continue on this, even though I should have stopped. But I got carried away talking about stupid gambling problems. Gambling is so fun. Jesus Christ, man. If you're going to gamble, you might as well just go all the way. If you don't, why gamble? Gambling would be wrong for you. So, yeah, he, when he went, he should have spent $100 if he had. Jesus Christ, dude. He makes so much money. If he spent a thousand, like I would, dude, forget about it. He'd be good for a while. He'd be good for so long, dude. Let's see, if it was a quarter of him, dude. If we go by a quarter to ten dollars, uh, if he's telling me the truth, then we'll see, what then, uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe it's like... Quarter, uh, let's see, four times. Four, 40, 40 times payout. 40 times payout right there. So if I had done that, I would have $40,000. My power level would be 40000 40000 and I will not be stopped. And then if I get $40,000, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to use it to gamble some more. <laughs> That's the way things should be. That's what things always should be. I would go... Immediately, just like open up my cell phone and be like, "Hey, listen!" And then fucking yes. fire him on me. I'm gonna toss you random up fucking money for no good fucking reason at all, and, and get. And I'll max out this cat girl. That's what I would, would do right away. And then I would gamble more money in real life, and then I would probably lose it all. But maybe I won't because I have supreme luck. And with my supreme luck, I am going to win another forty thousand. Yup, 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 yup. So that's what gambling really is. Gambling is a disease, and when you're a gambling junkie, you usually think that, oh yeah, everything will be alright, everything will be fine, you, if you play enough, you'll win. So, but, you know, logically, that's not, that's not actually possible, but still, it's fun thinking about it like that. And for my brother, who somehow gets three fucking blackjacks in a row and wasted it on a quarter, your three quarters. I, I I don't even know what to say. It's just most ridiculous. 
All I could do was laugh. It was so stupid, I had to laugh. And then we went back in to drink some more. And smoke. I'm so glad that now I'm gonna quit smoking and be a good boy. Because I stopped playing Dragalia Laws and having to put up with people who gives me brain damage. So, does any of this have to do with Fire Emblem Heroes? Well, except for the fact of summoning cat girls, probably not. But, um, what are my goals? I still have to do the, um, oh wow, holy shit, Faye is tough. But that's okay, I'll take down Shiro, who is an absolutely terrible unit. What happened to him? He was good initially, and then it's just like, now he's just like, okay. Now he's just like an okay character. Though he might be better than Obaro. I think he uh, power keeps Obaro stats. I like Obaro though, so maybe uh, if I actually look into Shiro, we can put some more use to him. But currently his uh, prep weapon is might as well not even be there. This'll be good. And now we're watching a cat go rip Florina to shreds. We'll see what happens. So, another thing. This year, or uh, well, not this year, but pre the previous year with the uh, beast unit seems to be uh, the high point with Tellius. I wonder what the um, theme for this year is going to be. I always do my best. I like, it, would it be Three Houses that's going to be uh, featured more prominently this year? Is it is our feature, is our uh, favorite a series going to be Tellius this time? I mean, not Tellius. Uh, three houses this time? Or are they gonna just keep feeding Tellius new stupid things? Oh, but wait. It could be a uh, Sacred Stone. We we haven't gotten our powerful Mortis, but then again, we always get Sacred Stone. There's this piece of shit developers like, oh yeah, I've got a hard on for Ephraim. Now, my favorite unit now. I'm gonna give him like a million alts and shit like that. Yeah. Fucking Makuhita and his stupid shit. So, uh, why am I doing all these idling, complaining things? I don't even know, dude. I just, like... Thing is... I'm trying to justify my spending in this game, and I don't know if I, I can do it for much longer. I ended up spending more money on this stupid game. I don't know if I like that. I survived that. I survived that, because I'm a stupid cat girl. Jesus Christ, dude. What the fuck? You know, I was really expecting the cat girl to die, but then I survived that. That's disgusting. See, we'll see what happens, because I'm a fucking cat girl. I don't die. I don't fucking die, because this game is stupid. Damage reductions all across the board. See, at the very least, though, at the very least, these units come with some restrictions to it. Bike, even, for what he is, he's, well... This kind of stuff is restricted to, 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 to him, yeah. But it makes him so fucking stupidly powerful that it might as well not even be there, since everybody has a bike. Everybody gets a bike. Oh, you're gonna vantage me. Oh, like that, or nothing matters. I'm gonna smash your skull in the right heart. <laughs> now I am you. What a stupid, what a stupid setup. Everything about this is stupid. I feel dumber just using these characters. Let's move. But the, fa the fact of the matter is these units are so dumb that it makes me laugh every time I use them. Oh, you boys gonna hit me. Oh, yo, look, a fox just jumps out of the air and God fucking rip me to shreds. Well, uh, your fox is no match for the demon. And now, oh, Hubert has been defeated. I'm just gonna move forward. Yeah, we'll yes. see what happens. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna toss your ass backwards. We'll see what happens. Boobasaurus Rex hits the. You know, I'm really surprised how low Boobasaurus Rex scores <laughs> in that vault that I had. Boobasaurus Rex, it just, I guess, just isn't all that popular because she's been uh, pandered too much in Fire Emblem Heroes, maybe. Well, maybe it's just because that she's got huge boobs and people hate on huge boobs because, you know, her character seems to be defined by her massive boobs and not for the character herself, even though we were all like, oh yeah, child Camilla has to deal with her. Well, the concubine wars and whatnot. Yeah, concubine wars. But, but we don't actually, you know, do any of that. We just kind of uh, talk about how big her boobs are and uh, 
and how she acts the way she does with cords. Also, I'm gonna suck you dry. Now I'm heal the fall. See, look, this is what's what I do in Aether Rage. That's all I ever do. People who has to fight me end up getting brain damage. They, then they come to attack my castle, and what, what happens? They get more brain damage. They end up finding that my defenses are even dumber than my offenses. It's so stupid. And you know what? I like stupid. We need to keep doing stupid things. Because if we take Aether Raids serious, we're not going to have a good time. We're not going to have a good time. It's not. It shouldn't be something that you stress yourself over. You, sh you shouldn't be like kind of... Every time something horrible happens in Aether Raids. Because it happens all the time in Aether Raids. Oh, yeah, and, and I know there are people who put so much stock in that. Oh, yeah, I've got, like, 70-something fucking chairs. Like, I give a shit, dude. Let's oh, you have chairs. Great. The moment you have to take a week off, you're going to be behind. Ooh, you're going to feel so bad. That's the whole reason why I hate these fucking trophy systems. It's so stupid. Who the fuck cares? Oh, they do, most certainly. But it's just so stupid. Because you can't keep them. And it's no it's not even a real indication of skill. It's just how active you are. Uh, and how much money you, you're willing to spend on the game. But you know, that kind of shit is just dumb. Uh, made me quit arena altogether for a while. So I probably only have like ten trophies or some shit like that. I'm so glad that they fixed Arena yes. with with the uh, recent update, so we just need to make one kill with the bonus unit, and we're good. We're Gucci, Gucci, good. See, that's the way things should be. Of course, it's a little late, but eh, whatever. We're all still playing the game, unlike other games. Now that all my craze rambling is over, I hope you uh, enjoy this little show as the Demon Maria gets hit by a nuclear bomb and then quickly attacks Silica with this. Nuclear bomb for all. We're also gonna watch as K Gel hit Bike and Bike just like thanks to, <laughs> thanks to all. And now you're you're dead and I'm named you the fall because I'm fucking Bike. Everything that is wrong in this world. And now the Demon Maria. Yeah. So it goes to death because you know the Demon Maria is a terrifying demon. And I need to make that story about Formortis. I've been meaning to do it for some time and I haven't done it. I need more time, but I also want to play other games. What do I do? Please, somebody help. Anyway, so that's about it for today's craze rambling session of Fire Emblem Heroes. I hope you all enjoy this little chat and my thoughts on these seals and whatnot in this game and such and such and such. I hope for another mythic banner to show up because I, I don't really like this Celica banner. This banner is uh, not, 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 not so good. I need... I don't know. I don't even know what I need anymore. Honestly, I, I got my uh, damage reduction, so I guess I could get some lols off of this and that. But I also don't want to spend on this banner. It's just not that great of a banner. I already have three peonies, so I don't really need that many peonies. Maybe I, I could merge them to make them a little bit better, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. I I guess I could also get a Naga, but I don't even want a Naga. I I could use Altida instead of Naga. But Naga also gives defense stats, so I don't know, dude. I don't know. I can't make a decision these days, because you know what? I go to sleep late because of I come home, I take a nap, and then I end up playing stupid EDF with my friends, and then I go back to sleep again, and then I wake up, and then it's about time I eat, and, and today I get to sleep big because it's the weekends, and then I have to go back to work soon, and then it's so stupid anyway. Uh, that's about it for today. I thank you all for watching. Until next time. We'll see what happens. Hey.